Hello friends. Nikon has created one of their most killer cameras of all times. And neither Sony or Canon can beat it. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this Nikon ZF. This is released just two days back in India. And I bought this with my own money. And trust me, this is the most beautiful camera that I have ever held in my hand in my last 15 years of photography journey. At about 1.65 lakhs, it's an absolutely steal deal. You just don't get the camera, but you get two new memory cards with it. One is a 64GB V90 card and another is a micro SD 64GB card as well. That's not all. You get two more batteries also with this. And to top it all, for a better grip, for this retro looking camera, you get a small rig attachment. And trust me, without this small rig attachment, it's really difficult to hold this camera. So what makes it so good? Why am I so gung-ho about this new camera? Well, I've always had problems with Nikon new line of mirrorless cameras, especially Z6 and Z6 II, not focusing well in low light situations. Whereas this camera focuses like a beast. I recently shot an event in pitch dark and it was able to focus on subjects which were 20 feet away. This camera can shoot in minus 10 EV lighting conditions. It also has a bigger pixel size of about 35.25 micro square meters which is way bigger than A7 IV and goes up to an ISO of 64,000. And you know what? This has an image stabilization of minus 8 EV, which beats everything out there, especially from Sony and Canon, which range about in minus 5 EV. What's further great about this camera is that you get these amazing dials on top of it. And uh, you can change your shutter speed, you can change your ISO also right from a dial. However, it takes a little bit of getting used to it. What I also really liked about is the viewfinder and the monitor. The monitor has a great resolution, which is far better than what you find on Sony a7 IV. And pictures looks absolutely the best. It also has a magnification ratio of 0.8 uh, versus 0.7 on a7 IV. Um, why am I saying A7 IV so much? Because that was the other camera that I was using before this. It has an XP7 processor which is 10 times faster than the XP6 processor from the previous generation. And it can shoot even 10 log n-bit videos internally. You can shoot 4K 60fps, however, in crop, but that doesn't degrade the quality. And it performs absolutely great while you're shooting videos. The focus is amazing and you will not find it lagging like the previous Z6 II or Z6. It can shoot 14fps, which is higher than what you get from A7 IV, which comes in a similar price range, a 1.4 almost camera giving you 96 megapixel files, which would be really great for our architectural photography or landscape photographers. That is something insane when you consider a camera of this size and it accomplishes that using pixel shift technology. What is worth noting is this camera also comes in a wide variety of beautiful colors. And while they are not available at the moment, only the black one in India, but once they become available, you will be able to upgrade them for a small extra cost. Isn't that amazing? Just look at those beautiful color options. You will love it. A more detailed review will follow soon. So stay tuned.